How not to do a fusion. Rant, long read, bonus story. Day 55, completely free to pay. Play. Just wanted to tell you guys my experience as a pretty new player, but that actually managed to fuse Thor with zero money investment and prep. He said no prep. He went in raw, dry. Day before the fusion, I was doing my research trying to figure out what I was going to do this fusion. If I went for some epics or if I ignored most events and farmed Minnow for full masteries. Shard count before the fusion. 100 mystery shards, 27 ancients, 5 voids, 0 primals, 4 sacreds. Money on the first day, 3 million. Gear to sell from farming campaign and other useless 4 star gear, about 2 to 3 million. Zero energy reserves, no chickens, no food, 20 to 30 brews in total. I was basically nowhere near ready for a fusion. Day one, the champion chase hits. I opened to see requirements. I was fully expecting almost double the requirements on points since shards basically determine if you do a fusion or not. Most of the time, yes. I started counting possibilities, researching because the YOLO factor was entering my mind. I pulled my four sacreds. One legendary Halloween BS Lego, three epics, nothing good, and like some mysteries and did the champ chase. Later I found out in champ chase that you actually draw ancients and no sacreds that you should, right? For champ chase, you want to save your, uh, how should I say this? Summon rush, you want to use your sacreds. Champ chase, you can use other things. Ideally, you would just use your ancients and because the way it works is champ chase gives you points based on what you pull. Ideally, you would use past fusions that are in your fragment portal and you summon those or from the doom tower etc after face palming thinking the fusion is over for me i started calculating che uh, checking the campaign rewards login rewards doom tower everywhere thinking i'd get some shards until the summon rush event of all the first couple events dungeon divers was a pain i didn't spend any energy on dungeons except the overflow from refill until dd was open and i still clenched my ass to finish the first dd with pushing gems to energy clutching rewards from login and i managed to finish it in like with like seven hours to go damn he was scraping that was the first pain. The second pain was artifact enhancement. Of course, I went and sold half my gear and had like 10 million thinking it's easy mode. No. <laughs> I think for artifact enhancement, for the most part, you need at least like, I want to say like 16 to 20 million to comfortably do it. Three to five star artifacts later, I'm broke and pulling my nose hairs out. By the way, uh, one thing that I like to do when prepping for artifact, oh, I guess I can't um, do it right now. One thing that I like to do is roll my gear up to... 15 and leave it there so that when I when I do have to do artifact enhancement it's pretty easy to get the points because going from 15 to 16 usually isn't that much as opposed to going 0 to 16. I'm broke pulling my nose hair out. I start researching efficient ways to do it. Start UPG. What's UPG? What's UPG? Every single artifact I get to 4. Oh! Upgrading. I start upgrading every single artifact I get to 4 before selling the measly 1 to 3 points. Started doing several hour a day oh my god that takes so much time doing the several hours a day airplane trick to save money and barely managed to do it with two hours clutching it yeah like this is a way to do it but it just takes up so much time i don't even think it's worth it i was starting to see the light a bit when i finally managed to do the first set of events i was drained in both money and energy in real life of basically every resources except some shards Rest of the first events went smoothly because they were tied with each other, so no difference there. Just push energy into dungeons or arena, upgrade, sell, artifacts, make food. The second dungeon divers and second artifact enhancement I did it a bit more efficiently, but was still an insane pain. And what saved me was actually the free energy refills and keys from server maintenance. The energy was basically just enough to finish the second dungeon divers, and the extra key clutched me a void and a sacred. By now, I was doing calculations thinking it's impossible for me, had no shards, summon rush was impossible, so I had all my hopes up. Oh, I, I had all my hopes for the extra summon rush. By the time I was doing the last, the third dungeon divers, there was three? An artifact bleeding money enhancement, which I barely again did, all because of several clutch 500 energy from daily login, clutch server maintenance and free energy, random rewards, completely forgot that I had to level to 50. Oh, the epics. And you needed food and potions. Potions. Thing that saved me was that since I started the game, I spent basically zero void potions to upgrade champions since I had none anyway. <laughs> yes, that's usually the case. Like me, I usually end up with like a bunch of potions after a while. 
like void potions just because I don't I don't have too many voids. I was short on like four big ones, ten mid ones, a relief, but leveling Diana's was still an additional pain. So we basically reach summon rush. I'm super demotivated since I confirm I can't do it. I now have 500 mysteries, 45 ancients, 6 voids, I unlock Centranos, got 2 primals and 0 sacreds, so after calculating, my only chance was at least 1 sacred from the nightmare clan boss, I was doing 3 to 4 keys depending on affinity, in like three or 2 to 3 days, 500 mysteries as well. The day of the extra summon rush arrives, I don't even see its double ancient points. I'm jizzing in excitement, pulling all my ancients, getting a Fushan, Demither where you at, Maneater where you at, and Apothecary, nothing out of uh, nothing else of relevance. Completing the fusion, pushing the rest of the Dianas to levels. Bonus story, if you managed to get this far and I didn't bore you to death. Since I got Thor, I wanted the extra hammer points after the fragment, so I pulled two primals. First primal was Makage. Wow! Needless to say, I couldn't sleep for a couple hours until 3 a.m. So yeah, after an insane grind, I got Thor and Makage on a 55-day account. No money spent. Pretty happy, not gonna lie. I'd be happy too, but that's that's a slog. And we've done it. I've done this so many times. This exact thing that he's talking about? I've been playing great for five years. I've been doing this shit too. I, I get you, bro. I get you. You know, hats off to you, dude. Conclusion. I would never do this again without proper prep. Yeah, don't try to go in raw. It's painful. Make sure you have dozens of sacreds, voids, sacreds, thousands of mystery shards, 100 pots of each at least, ready to go, food ready, 100 mil in the bank. Without this much, I would never do another fusion, no matter who I was. It was so... So draining, barely clutching so many events, many sleepless nights, etc., but rewarding. Too long didn't read. You should probably put that at the top. I got the Thor fusion after clutching an event with zero resources. Shoutouts to MVP123, Polarium for making Champ Chase and Summon Rush doable for me. Uh, some, some people are going to complain about that. MVP2, Maintenance, Free Energy, and MVP3, First Primal on my shard. First Primal gave him a Kage. First Mythical. That's crazy. End of rant. Hope you learned something from my noob experience in this fusion. Doable, but goddamn, you need a shit ton of luck and the stars to align. Good luck, happy rating. Congrats on the fusion. Congrats, 50 days in. Uh, earliest I've ever heard of somebody doing a fusion. Great job. Many of the content, cr many of the content creators finished a fusion in their first month during the CC free to play challenge this year. Yeah, but they're CCs, right? Y it's hard to compare yourself. Like I can't put myself in the same realm as somebody who just started playing raid. Like this, I've been playing for over five years. This guy's been playing for 55 days. I think the achievement for somebody who completes an entire fusion, and Thor honestly wasn't like the easiest fusion, who completes a fusion in 55 days is a lot better than uh, a CC with, fi with five years of experience completing a fusion, right? Because CCs have the experience and the knowledge, knows what to prepare for, knows that it's coming, right? Um, because we usually know things before you guys do, a couple days before you guys do. Adding some pictures for reference, uh, let's see. Stressful to read, gave me flashbacks of trying and failing my first fusion. Congratulations. Yeah, exactly, on managing it successfully. How's your blood pressure? You don't want to know, man. I'm so stressed. Happy mix of emotions, but mainly fucking drained from waking up for more than a week at 3 a.m. to not lose any refills on energy. First game made me feel that way. The first game that made him feel that way. That girl is a real crowd pleaser. Small world all of